A giant world championship holiday. Twas the first day at spring training, we started to pray. Bochi and Sabian were getting ready to play. We should have known how the story goes by opening the season and sweeping the strows. Maybe we started to feel a bit cocky. In July, we went and took four from Milwaukee. Yes, in July, we were taking our hacks. We followed in Arizona by sweeping the backs. We ended the month kind of okay. By August 1st, we had just swept LA. Then in September, we all went for broke. Thank God that the Padres were starting to choke. On Maddie, on Sanchi, on Timmy and Kane, the way they were dealing, it was kind of insane. We got Buster and Cody, then Burl came along. Aubrey did it with his bat as well as his thong. Panda and Travis and Aaron and Freddy, Andre and Nate, now we knew we were ready. The best park in baseball we were starting to shout. The boys in the bullpen were simply lights out. A Sheboygan, a beer, cha-cha and fries. But the sound of the foghorn just brings tears to my eyes. We had Willie's, Cepeda and Juan Marichal. The Clarks, Mitchell and Bonzes as well. Richie and Rags and Omar and Wynn. Russ Hodges, Lon Simmons and the Aloos to begin. Matt Williams, Chris Spire, Big Daddy and Nen. Harvey, Perry and LaMaster, all giants among men. Hack, Zito, Vita, and the unit. McGowan, Bear, and Murph to fine tune it. Count, Halicki, and Ivy and Schmidt. Ortiz and Bedrock, and the big cat could hit. Woody, Ellis, Dusty, and Ray. Ivy, Atley, Chili, and JT by the bay. Beck, Burkett, Swift, and Dravecki. Caveman and Candy, and even Sadecki. Benji and Benito, and Dirty Al to the party. McGee, Kent, and Dunstan. And don't forget Guardy. These were the greatest guys of our times. I have more like Jim Ray Hart, but I'm fresh out of rhymes. We won it for them, we won it for us. There was lots of champagne before loading the bus. They all said we were such an unlikely bunch. When we entered the playoffs, we all had a hunch. Listening to other announcers, they just weren't our type. John Miller and Dave, and the crew and the kite. About this time, we were feeling our fate, while listening to Tolbert and Ralph pontificate. We hammered the Phillies and pounded the Braves. After pummeling the Rangers, Wilson had his six saves. Uribe and Cody both got on base. Then Edgar launched one right out of the place. We were looking real good, and I don't mean maybe. The crowd fired up the chant of Hum Baby. When the beard came in and tugged on his cap, we knew Texas was in for a long winter's nap. Lados, Abaldo, Halliday, and Lee, Oswalt and Hudson, we set them all free. Before we start our own victory shouts, we need to thank our owners and coaches and scouts. Without their love and support and their cash, we wouldn't be having this victory bash. With Tony and Huey singing their way, a trophy was headed to the city by the bay. This was the only jewel missing from SF's golden crown, but it's gleaming there now since we put them all down. A World Series ring was headed our way. There won't be a ticker tape parade in LA. Our giants are now the toast of the town. This feeling of victory, we may never come down. And we heard Newcomb scream as they rode out of sight. We're champs of the world, twas one hell of a night. Happy holidays to the fans, family, and players of the world champion San Francisco Giants, Bill Peel.